Hello, hello, my friends. Tashina Gonzalez back here with Vilactiva. Back to share with you everything I just shared with all my monolingo friends. So I am here to talk to you about natural ways to support asthma. So last month we were talking all about immune support, especially respiratory support with everything that's going on right now. So this month we're going to talk about how can we have natural support to support those underlying conditions that are making people even more susceptible to the things that are going on right now as we are in the springtime of 2020. And so um, as you hop on here, please give me a hi, a hello, a wave. Let me know what city and state you're watching me from. And if you're watching the replay, no matter what venue, if it's Facebook, um, Instagram, or YouTube, then hashtag replay. So we are going to chat a little bit today about natural support for asthma. And this is something that is near and dear to my heart because I was diagnosed with asthma when I was little. And so when it would rain, I would get rushed to the hospital because I couldn't breathe. I used to have to take this thick medicine that on a spoon that would go to the top of my, the roof of my mouth. Um, and then I remember I was like, probably like 9, 10, 11, around that age. And I went to the doctor and at the whole time, my whole family was going and my brothers, they told my one brother, oh, you're probably going to grow out of your asthma. And then my other brother, they said, yeah, you're probably going to grow out of your asthma. And my doctor told me that I would never grow out of my asthma and that I would suffer for probably the rest of my life, which was not fun to hear. Then when I was in high school, I remember I had to take a step test and I took that step test and it said that I was just completely out of shape, even though I was a tiny, tiny little person at the time, very petite. And so I went to my doctor and I told my doctor, um, can you give me a note so that I could like skip gym class because this asthma is like really bad. And he told me, no, what I want you to do is tennis or track and I want you to strengthen your lungs so that you're not going to be crippled for the rest of your life. And so that was really my first introduction of like using something else health-wise to help me, something natural, some other type of support, rather than just trying to go to, to medicine and to just deal with an ailment. And so I'm happy to say that nowadays I don't even test as if I have asthma because I've done so many things such as exercising the strength in my lung, as well as using natural remedies to support my respiratory system when I need it. So what are some of the things that you can do or you can do for your children if they need some support for asthma? And again, it's such a hot topic right now because people who are have something like that underlying condition can be even more susceptible to other respiratory things. So of course, we always start with exercise and diet. So what things as far as our diet where there isn't really one specific um, food that is mentioned that helps like immediately with asthma. But studies have shown that a, well a well-rounded diet with fruits and vegetables. Also making sure that you know exactly what food you might be allergic to and testing for food allergies. I know that is the case for me. I have a lot of food allergies and I possibly have some food to intolerances and this can actually cause asthma symptoms. So in my case, I'm allergic to tree nuts, I'm allergic to coconut, I'm allergic to fish, seafood, and mildly to dairy. So in order to make sure that my respiratory system stays well, I have to make sure that I avoid those foods. Now, another thing that this particular article mentioned is if you are in the obese category, you're going to work on that because being in the obese category is going to make your asthma and lung function a lot more difficult. So the foods that you want to eat in order to get support with asthma are going to be foods that are rich in vitamin D. And as you guys know, I did an entire video on natural ways to get vitamin D. So if you haven't watched that, make sure you get on my YouTube channel and get to that. But a couple of things that it mentioned is if you can eat salmon, milk, and eggs, that would be a great way to get vitamin D. And we know the best way is to make sure that you get a walk every day and get lots of sunshine into your body. Vitamin A, I also did an entire video on natural ways to get vitamin A. So again, if you haven't seen that, hop on my YouTube channel right afterwards so you can watch that. But again, some of the things that I have mentioned in that video, carrots, cantaloupe, sweet potatoes, 
Leafy greens such as romaine, lettuce, kale, spinach, and broccoli. Apples are also very good to help with increased lung function. Bananas and the potassium that it contains as well as the antioxidants are very good for improved lung function. <clears throat> Magnesium rich foods. Spinach, pim pumpkin seeds, switch, charred dark chocolate, and salmon. And even inhaling magnesium through a nebulizer is another way to support asthma. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, foods that you should avoid are foods that contain lots of sulfites. So wine, dried fruits, pickled foods, maraschino cherries, shrimp, bottled lemon, and lime juice. Um, you want to minimize ones that can cause gas, such as beans, cabbage, carbonated drinks, onions, garlic, and fried foods. And some people with asthma are sometimes sensitive to salicylates, which can be found in coffee, teas, some herbs and spices. But as with anything, check with your doctor. You also want to avoid artificial ingredients, such as preservatives, colorings, processed and fast food will cause high sensitivities to your lung, common allergens, making sure you're away from smoke. Most people that have asthma are highly allergic to smoke and making sure you get rid of toxins. I know one of the things that was super important for my allergies and my asthma was getting rid of candles and aerosol sprays and plugins and all those other things that I love. So make sure you're reading the back of those because a lot of times they clearly say on them if they will cause allergies. Some support that we can provide to ourselves, steam baths usually help with asthma. Some herbs that have been mentioned in this article, garlic, ginger, echinacea, and licorice root, turmeric, honey, and omega-3s. So I do an amazing detox drink every single morning that has honey, lemon, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of cinnamon, and some amazing essential oils added to it. Um, you can find that on my YouTube channel as well. And that really, really helps my respiratory system. So other things that we're going to do, take medication as prescribed, monitor your breathing, use air conditioner to reduce exposure to dust mites and outdoor pollutants and allergens such as pollen, use dust covers on bed and pillows to reduce dust exposure, cover your nose and mouth. When spending time outside in the cold, use a humidifier or dehumidifier to keep humidity in your home at optimal levels. Clean your house regularly to eliminate mold spores and other indoor allergens. And then, of course, we always add on a few other supplements that we can do to increase that even more. And so some of my favorite things to keep on hand to either put in um, a diffuser, which also acts as a humidifier, or to rub on topically as needed for respiratory support and to increase lung function are peppermint, which was mentioned in this article, eucalyptus, lavender, and then of course everything respiratory immune system thieves, which then does have that. It has um, eucalyptus and rosemary and cinnamon and clove and lemon. And then a couple other ones. So my eucalyptus, I love to put this like on something so I can breathe it in in the shower. Um, also love to use RC. So RC is a blend that has a lot of those things in it. It has three different eucalyptus as well as a few other respiratory supporting things and Raven. So those are definitely ones that I would um, make like a little salve and massage on for some respiratory support or put in my diffuser for that respiratory support. And that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I thank you as usual, everyone for joining me. If you know anyone that needs some support with asthma, that's one of the things that I just love. I have a niece and nephew that suffered from asthma. My poor little nephew was told he would have to have breathing treatments the rest of his life. But because he has been able to, um, his mom has made sure that the toxins are removed from their home. At, at the age of one and a half, he was supposed to have 
breathing treatments his entire life. But by removing the toxins and by using the right high quality essential oils, he hardly has to have anything at all. And that's just what we want to see. We want to sh see that people have solutions for their babies and their kids. And that's why we share. So if you know anyone in that situation, please share this video with them. And thank you again for joining me. And if you need any other information, feel free to reach out to me. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.